what's the specific well, you're, you're giving a deep apology online is one thing i don't know if you if you need to repeat that I don't, i'm not saying you should repeat that but that seems like a significant thing for someone in your position to say and there seems to be a lot going on Sure. Uh, well, Raph, firstly, I, I think the tweets uh, speak for themselves. Um, I'm not um, going to be a commentator on myself. Uh, but what I would say is that, um, look, I, I think uh, at this critical juncture where we've got stage four restrictions in Melbourne, stage three restrictions across Victoria, um, every Victorian making huge sacrifices, uh, I've been concerned that the focus hasn't been in terms of the public commentary uh, on the fight against the virus. And I think that's absolutely where the focus needs to be right now. Uh, I think we need to all have a common purpose uh, on uh, focusing on fighting this virus. And, uh, um, and, and that's, that's the message that I've tried to convey from the start from day one uh, is, as the Premier said before, you know, this is a life and death matter. Uh, we're seeing more and more Victorians are losing a loved one each and every day. Uh, and I know that's uh, heartbreaking for, for all Victorians to see uh, those tragedies playing out. So this is in all of our hands. We are the front line and we can uh, turn this around if we all focus on uh, the task at hand and that is fighting this deadly virus. You said that no doubt mistakes were made along the way in the government's response to the pandemic. Did you have anything in particular in mind? Uh, look, that's, that's for others to, to judge. Um, you know, I'm not going to be a commentator on myself, as I said. Um, there's an independent process underway, and I think it's important that that process is allowed to do its job um, without you know, me or anyone else providing a, a daily running commentary.